Our commitment at Nicholas Children's Advanced Projects Laboratory is to revolutionize healthcare for our patients and parents. The models we print, the holograms we create and display are not textbooks. They're from living patients, and each one tells a unique story for the patient and the family. Using the HoloLens, being able to interact with it, I think is really great. I see all the dots. Maybe they're not connected yet, but all of the dots are there, and like I can't wait to see like where it will be like when I'm eventually teaching, like years from now. It's going to revolutionize not only healthcare, but it's going to revolutionize how we work together over distance, how we work together over time. We learned about the University of Florida Anatomy program from one of our vendors and their interest in advanced technology and their interest in developing the art and science of teaching anatomy and they became fantastic partners for us. We here at the University of Florida College of Medicine wanted to have something more for our students in the learning process of the various aspects of the human body. Stratasys and Nicholas Children's Advanced Projects Laboratory worked working towards the same goal of, of improving healthcare. In 2013, the vision was to print three-dimensional hearts, mainly for surgical planning. And we, we discovered that they were incredibly important for patient education, for patient satisfaction, patient happiness, in addition to surgical planning. We do have very limited time in our anatomy lab, so having these models at hand to use them for review, I think it's incredible. So utilizing the 3D hearts gives us more time to explore the anatomy and the relationships of each structure to others. And you can see on the 3D printed heart, like, they're blown up a little bit, so you can kind of see all those structures more clearly and then go back the actual donor heart and kind of like, okay, like this looks similar, this is probably this. It was like a very interactive way to observe all the anatomy structures and see the relationship between all the structures. So it was much more easier to follow and a good revision for us. 3D printed models had their own specific purpose, their own specific niche. They also took a day to print in some cases, and printing different versions of the same heart was going to be difficult. And so even before we printed the first heart, we started looking for a virtual reality, augmented reality, now mixed reality solution. Found a wonderful vendor who's a full partner of Microsoft, VSI, Appleclar in Germany, who has a fantastic mixed reality solution. We wanted to have something that the students at the cadaver lab could really utilize to help them learn structural relationships. With the augmented reality, with the HoloLens, it was just like, if I had that on at the same time I was with their donor body, like, I could look to the side, pull up something and just like, okay, like, I'm looking for this artery, tracking it here, looking back at the heart and like, finding it there. Oh, okay. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> This is incredible. I put on the HoloLens and I'm able to see the CT scan where I can look, walk into it and I can see all the structures coming along. And then on this other side, I have this 3D model of the heart, which I can blow it up and almost feel like I'm standing inside the left ventricle. <laughs> or I can walk around it and point out all the structures. Is that the left yeah, ventricle? I think, I think it's opening into the aorta and that's yeah. arching. Yeah, arching the Because that's the left atrium and that's my uh, pulmon pulmonic, three cusps. Anterior, so anterior left right, and right. And, right and left. Yeah. Yeah. Using the HoloLens, being able to interact with it instead of you know reading a textbook and only seeing one view, being able to walk around and see it from different views, um, I think is really great. And it's something that, you know, as future doctors, you know, if you're doing surgery or something like that, you have to be able to kind of look at the heart from different views. I think this is incredible. I yeah, think this, this is like is a awesome. great <laughs> learning tool. It really Especially with all the coronary too. arteries and sinuses. Yeah. Those are hard sometimes. Thank you so much. Like I really appreciate this. Yeah, this is awesome. Just the applications for medicine, whether it's like telemedicine or just like teaching, it's like that kind of next step where you're augmenting not just reality, but like what it means to practice medicine, to be in healthcare. To me, that's like the most cool part about all the lens. How genuine these young men and young women are, how genuine their interest is, how genuine their desire to be good doctors is, their desire to learn. So it's really a, a true privilege for me to interact with them and their energy and their interest and their curiosity.